good evening my topic for the paper presentation is role of multi detected computed tomography in evaluation of the blunt abdominal trauma so as we know that blunt abdominal trauma is the leading cause of mortality and morbidity in among all this is group and identification of serious uh, uh, abdominal pathology is often challenging in cases of uh, abdominal injury because of the uh, the initial clinical symptoms and signs usually don't correspond to the severity of the injury. So, uh, my aim and objective for the study was to evaluate the effectiveness of the multidirective coma uh, CT in uh, reduction of intra-abdominal injury in patient with the blunt abdominal trauma and to provide a valuable relation uh, information that... Uh, that could accurately determine the choice of the management, whether we should go for operative management or we should go for the non-operative management. Also, we uh, our objective was to correlate the computed tomography finding uh, with either clinical observation or the follow-up uh, with the regular CT scans or the, with the surgical findings. So, wherever uh, it was required and wherever surgery was uh, done. So, uh, material and method was, it was a prospective study which was conducted in Bukims and Puneshwar for over 8 months in which we included the 75 patients uh, which were having the clinical suspicion or having the presentation of intra-abdominal injury with stable vitals and having a positive uh, USC scan report. So, they were evaluated with 64 slice multi-detected tomography which we have in our institution. The findings were uh, correlated with the clinical follow-up and the follow-up the CT scan and also with the surgical findings. So, again, the free fluid quantification was done by using the Federal and Jeffrey method and they were graded into small, moderate and large uh, quantity and individual organ injury were graded according to the OIA system and injury severity grades were given by Mirvis and Murray. So, all the hemodynamic unstable patient were excluded from the study because they will be having the obvious uh, peritoneal signs and the uh, progression of abdominal distension and they were immediately taken for the surgery and were excluded from the study. So technique for CT what we have used is we have done the scanning from the domes of the diaphragm until the pubic symphysis and the plane scans were uh, followed by the intravenous contrast scans in suspended uh, inspiration uh, for intravenous contrast enhancement 8200 ml of dynamic injection ultravis that we have used and in children the 300 milligram for a wide per kg body weight were demonstrated and axial section were taken the section were taken in the arterial and portal venous phases Delayed scans were not usually performed, but uh, only in the suspected cases of the renal and the uh, bladder trauma, we have done the delayed scans also. So, these are the few uh, illustrations in which uh, the first image uh, we are seeing with the, uh, the left kidney is almost shattered kidney, it's, which is having the multiple lacerations and with the perinephric hematoma. The second image having the multiple liver uh, lacerations with the hemoperitoneum. So, our uh, result and observation of study was there that we have found that uh, the mostly the bulk of the patient were male and uh, usually young age group were involved uh, between mostly in 21 to 40 age group uh, that was about 51%. And more, uh, mode of injury uh, was mostly RDA, uh, both in male and female, uh, and fall from the height and assault were a bit higher side in the females. And uh, as per the distribution uh, of injury, we have found that solid organ injury, which were associated with hemoperitoneum, which was about of 70%. And uh, the distribution of the visceral injury, we have found that the spleen was the most injured organ uh, in the most of the cases of apple and abdominal trauma. Also in this study, we have, we had the 73 uh, visceral injury uh, uh, reported and a majority of them uh, 49 which were about 85% uh, were having the visceral injury and have the peritoneum about of uh, 8 cases out of visceral injuries uh, which were not associated with the hemi, uh, hemoperitoneum and uh, uh, 2 cases of them which one, one was uh, GB injury and uh, one was intraperitoneal rupture of the bladder six cases which were having uh, renal injury with only the perinephric collection. So out of 57, nine cases were immediately taken for the uh, surgery and uh, they were managed uh, conservatively. So 
again the distribution of ct quantification on the hemoperitoneum we have done into the mild moderate and uh, large amount in which moderate hemoperitoneum was mostly associated with uh, a majority of the blunt injury trauma and distribution uh, management of the hemoperitoneum based on ct grading we have found that mostly the conservative management were had done for the moderate amount of the hemoperitoneum so ct quantification of hemoperitoneum which was done by the federle and jeffries method uh, and all the hemoperitoneum cases that was nine cases which were taken for the surgery uh, uh, they were confirmed and the abdominal uh, only the uh, additional uh, 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 bowel injury were reported into the three cases uh, which uh, which was associated with uh, isolated hemoperitoneum and uh, in uh, the ct severity actually was of the 100 percent in detecting the hemoperitoneum so our study uh, have a significant uh, uh, result in term of the sensitivity and specificity uh, it, it, it was it, it, the sensitivity was 66.7 and 100% almost the specificity and positive predictive value was 100% negative predictive value was 94% the accuracy was study was 94.7% so as i told the maximum maximum patient were of the young younger age group mainly male predominant and associated with more of rt and which of um, most of them will having abdominal injury with the hemoperitoneum and the isolated hemoperitoneum were diagnosed in a uh, few cases so most common injured organ was the spleen and the ct finding uh, which were we having the hemoperitoneum were confirmed uh, and uh, 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 and also there were addition bowel injury was found into the isolated hemoperitoneum of the three cases. So conclusion of my study was that CT was 100% sensitive in the detecting hemoperitoneum and all cases were conserved conservatively had an uneventful recovery during the follow-up period uh, so in all the analysis of the solid in uh, organ injury in our study OIS grading uh, system uh, predicted uh, uh, a management protocol in majority of the our patients expect for those who are having the associated additional bowel and mesenteric injury so in conclusion we have found that CT is a best and a, a superior diagnostic modality in diagnosing the management of the blunt abdominal so this concludes my presentation. Thank you. These are my references.